Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This is number 41 for Early Intermediate. And today we are talking about the personal A. Ah. <laughs> the personal A. They go, A. That's personal. <laughs> Personal A. What is the personal A? Now, we've talked about the personal A before. Um, and you can see that in the earlier um, video cast that we've done. But the personal A, basically, Cynthia, when do we use it? When do we use the A? When the action is referring or is done onto a person or a pet. A person or a pet. And we're going to come into that. A, per a person that you know or care for or is in your within people that you know mm -hmm. or people that the other person knows mm -hmm. a speaker if you know, or the person you're talking to and pets okay so it doesn't translate you don't translate it into mm, english yeah typically, typically sometimes it translated as two two in yeah, some, yeah. In some yeah. sentences but quite often for example um uh, Yo um, le compro a mi amigo un regalo. Okay. Uh -huh. In English, we would say, I'm buying my friend. No, I'm buying to my friend. Yeah. I'm buying this to my friend? No. I'm buying a present to my friend? No. Giving a present to my friend, I'm but buying a present to my oh, no. Can't. So sometimes it'll appear, oh, sometimes it won't. So you've got to be careful. <laughs> Eh? I would have said that. Why not? Am I this to my friend? But lots of Spanish for my people friend, I don't know, for... add the two in because because they, they know it's there in Spanish so they don't you know whether we should add it in English. So be careful. In, it's easy for us because we're going the opposite direction. It always has to be there when you're referring to this. It's this mark of respect for people. Mm -hmm. Okay? So simple, simple differences. Veo la casa. I see the house. Veo a Marta. I see Martha. There's no difference in English, but that A has to be there because it's a person. Yeah. Animals you've mentioned. So pets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've got Dane mm -hmm. and Douglas. Okay. Sí. So when you, for example, um, how would you say I'm going to take the dogs out? Voy a sacar a los perros. A los perros. Yeah. So that, that has to be there because even though you're not saying the names, just los perros, you use a because these are your pets, yeah, and they have mm -hmm. names, yeah. Muy bien. So quite often when an animal has a name, right, but this is where it gets a bit curious. Because Cynthia, I've heard you say Esta mañana yo vi a un ciervo. Uh huh. Sí. Yeah? And and that isn't a pet. No. <laughs> it could be, but no, not in this case. But you wouldn't have a problem with putting an at, a personal at with that, would you? I don't know. It's just sometimes I use it with animals. I think some people sometimes use it with animals. Yeah. Uh, but you don't have to. No, no. I, I could have said be un ciervo, but I tend to say be un ciervo. I don't know why. Yeah. So I, it could be wrong. Eh? It could be totally wrong in, in in an exam. It doesn't. It doesn't. In an exam, don't use it. But it, it doesn't matter. Whether it's right or wrong, what what I hear is that, um, for example, Cynthia is a great animal lover, and so because the personal A is a mark of respect, yeah. Yes. When Cynthia talks about animals, she respects them, and I hear this ah come out a lot more than not, for example, yeah. Um, then, but then we've got things like I'm looking for a plumber. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how would you say that? So, because I don't know the plumber, I, we're not talking about a person. Mm -hmm. It's different. It's a, because plumber is a concept, yeah? Yeah. I know it's a person, but you don't know. It's like uh, the concept of a plumber, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, in that case, we don't need it. So, you could say, busco un fontanero. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what do you think if I said, yo busco a un fontanero? Nobody would... Um, Button bat eyelid. eyelid. Yeah. yeah. Nobody. Why? In the in the rules, 
rules and regulations of Spanish? You shouldn't because no. it's not a person that you know. Therefore, you don't. They don't deserve. Well, it's not that they don't deserve respect. You don't need to add the ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's not. It's just no need. No need for that. But we tend to use it more than we don't. Yes. When, when we yeah. don't need to, we still use it. Yeah. That's so it, the, 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 it's really interesting that you say that. The most important thing is not to leave it out. But putting it in where you shouldn't put it in doesn't cause a great uh, no. reaction. Okay. It's worse if you leave it out than if you add yes. it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Absolutely. So, also, mm -hmm. if you have a list, for example, if we take the example of taking the dogs out and we have two dogs and I... Instead of saying taking the dogs out, I want to say I'm going to take Douglas and Danae out. So then I would have to add a personal A for each person, um, animal in this case. Yeah. So I would say, uh, voy a sacar a Douglas y a Danae. If there were five, six names, I would have to add an A before each name. Mm. So voy a, voy a invitar a mi fiesta. Uh, a Juan, a Carlos, a Patricia, a Maria. Yeah. So everybody has to have it. You can't. You can't leave them out. Um, right. So let's just move on to something even more spectacular about the personal. Oh, okay. Spectacular. Spectacular. <laughs> and that is this sentence. Pues tengo a mi madre hmm. enferma. Oh yes. Yeah. Tengo a mi madre enferma. So, what's going on there? That's a personal A, yeah? I have had uh, many students, when, when we used to teach mm -hmm. uh, in college, saying, you can't say tener a, it's in my book. Yes. It says, there's no personal A with tener. Okay, the book can say whatever. I'm telling you, we do say it. Mm -hmm. And it's not wrong. We can say, tengo a, tengo a mi madre en casa. Tengo a mi abuelo enfermo. Tengo a... And I don't know if it... I mean, it means to have. But sure. uh, it's, it's, a, it's not just possession. It's no, a, no. It's the, the difference. The, and it's true that you, you don't use a personal air with tener when you're talking about what you've got. You don't say, tengo a dos hermanos. Exactly. You say, tengo dos hermanos. Okay? Yes. So when you're talking... But... If you say, tengo a dos hermanos eh, en casa, okay, right? That means, what that means is that you, so we, 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 in English we would say, I've got two brothers yes. at home with me. What it means is that you've got two brothers at home and it also means that you've got more than two brothers. Okay. Tengo dos hermanos en casa, yes, exactly. Yeah, if you, you say, tengo dos hermanos en casa, I understand two of your brothers exactly. or your siblings yeah. are at home. Exactly. Only two. But there's but they, more. But they could be That's more. more. That's yeah. more. Okay. So yes. when you use this tengo a, it's what we do in English is we say, oh, I've got my mum ill this week. Right. Oh, that, now, so you say the same word. That, yeah. But I don't know if that's just peculiar to the to the <laughs> northeast. But we can say regional. Yeah. I've got my mum at home with me this week. I've got my mum at home with me. And mm. that is identical to the Spanish. Yes. But in the Spanish version, you've got to use a personal eh? Tengo a mi madre en casa esta semana conmigo. Yes. ¿Sí? So, for example, you would say, eh, tengo, no sé, tengo una hija. So that would be, I have a daughter. That's, that's the information. Uh -huh. ¿Tienes hijos? Sí, tengo una hija. No personal yeah? eh? But then you could say, tengo a mi hija viviendo en casa conmigo porque se ha divorciado. Okay, so I've got my daughter at home because at she home. Mm -hmm. she got a divorce and she's with me now. Mm -hmm. So that's not that's not I have a daughter. That's what the daughter is doing. Exactly, your, exactly. This is information about that person. And it doesn't always have to be that you've got them with you. Because no, no, no. you can say, tengo a mi padre en el hospital. Yeah, sí, tengo a mi padre right? en el hospital. So that, that's the same as, I've got my dad in hospital this yes, week. Yes, yeah? yes, yes, yes. So it, it isn't necessarily that with you. you. What you're saying is where somebody is and oh, that sick. you're involved. Yeah, yeah? or oh, oh, tengo, tengo a, mi, a mis abuelos enfermos. Not necessarily with you. But you no, no. I've, I've got my grandparents ill, sick. 
Uh, well, <laughs> could we say that? that? I've, I've got my two grand. Yeah, it's that. It's just the way that we do. Or certainly, where I come from, I've got my t- <laughs> I've got my two grandparents ill at the moment, and it's okay. it's like saying, look, this is what I've got going on in my life at the moment. I think that's that's kind of what we're right. saying. What I've got yes. going on. So tengo a when you're talking about mm-hmm. people is what you've got going on in your life. Yeah. So the so when you use tengo a, the the sentence doesn't finish with what you have. So tengo a mi madre. No, tengo a mi madre. Blah blah blah. Tengo yeah. a mis padres. Blah blah. Yeah. Tengo Good a, point. So you have to give information about that person or that animal or whatever. Yeah. Um, I could say, for example, oh, eh, no puedo salir porque tengo al fontanero aquí trabajando. I've yeah. got the plumber. I've got the plumber here working. Here working. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, tengo yeah. al fontanero aquí trabajando. Mm-hmm. So the, that's where we would use tengo a. Yeah. Okay. In other cases, it would be tengo and then the person. Mm. Tengo dos perros. Tengo dos hijos. Okay. So, en resumen. Oh, I haven't said that for a while. Uh... I haven't said that for a while. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, the personal A, don't leave it out. If, you, if you're in doubt... Put it in. I, a friend of mine used to say, when in doubt, leave it out. No, when in doubt, stick it in, right? Because it's better in than out. And, and, and I think that's probably a lesson for life. About, are you talking about personally or something else? It's, 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 a, doubt? it's a lesson for life. Uh, yeah, better in than out. If in doubt, <laughs> stick it in. Okay? The personal uh, All right, so we hope that's helped you. Entonces, Cynthia, nos vamos, ¿no? Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.